So welcome to Quick Pixel and today we are creating a cool sneaker poster in Photoshop. So let's get into it. Alright, so first I'm making a canvas that is 1920 and 1080p. I'll just create it. So click on this adjustment icon and choose gradient. Click on this gradient bar and select this one. Double click here and choose a darker gray like this one. Double click here and choose a color like this one. Hit OK once you're done. And set the style to radial. Click on this reverse option and increase the scaling a bit. Press OK once you are done. Now we have to import the image of our sneaker and if you like to use the one I'm using, the link will be in the description. So I'll just import it and place it right there. Now I will type in my text and the font I'm using is called impact and the font link will be in the description. So I'll just type sneaker. I will just select this text and change the color to a white. Hit Ctrl and T on your keyboard and hold shift to increase the size like that. So I'll place it right here. Now hit Ctrl J on your keyboard that will duplicate this text layer. Now drag this and put it below the sneaker image. Now click on the layer that is on the top and set the fill to 0%. Now click on this FX and choose stroke and select a white color for it and set the size to 3. Hit OK. So I'll place it right here. Now let's make a paper town effect. So for that I'm gonna use lasso tool and I'll just draw it something like this. So once the selection is done, click on this new layer and fill it with a darker gray color like this one. Hit Ctrl J that will duplicate in this effect. Now hit Ctrl T on your keyboard and right click on it and select flip horizontal. And right click again and choose flip vertical. And place it right there. Now hit P on your keyboard or just select this pen tool. Set the fill to transparent and choose a white stroke and set the value to 5 pixels and just make random lines like these. I'll place it right here. If you like you can increase the size like that by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard and I'll make another one right here. Hold control and click anywhere on your canvas to dislike this selection by the way. So I think this is fine. So we're gonna add some arrows. So for that just select this polygon lasso tool and make a triangle shape like that. Click on this new layer icon and fill it with the purple color. Now click on this polygon lasso tool again and select half of it and hold Ctrl Shift Alt on your keyboard and click on this layer thumbnail. So that will select half of our shape. So I will fill it with a darker shade of purple like that. Now take polygon lasso tool again and select this area hold ctrl alt and shift on your keyboard and click on this layer thumbnail again and fill it with the even darker color like this one so just place this arrow wherever you feel good so i'm gonna place it here hit ctrl j to copy this and I will place the second one here. I will copy this one again and I will just place it here. Now I will add some subtitles and the font I am using for it is called Akira 
and the link will be in the description so i'll just write pixel shoes and i'll change the color to white i'll decrease the size like that and increase the distance like that now if you like you can add a call to action button and for that i'm gonna use this rectangle tool and make a rectangle like that and i'll fill it with a purple color i'll remove the stroke and i'll place it here and i'll just copy the subtitles by pressing ctrl j on my keyboard and i'll bring this here and i'll change the text to by now and i will put this layer above the rectangle i will remove the distance a bit and place it in the middle so now take your pen tool again and make a shape like this one fill it with a purple color like that and remove the stroke take pen tool again so just make another one like that and fill it with a darker purple and place it anywhere you like now select both of these shapes by holding control on your keyboard and hit ctrl g on your keyboard that will group these layers now hit ctrl j that will duplicate the layers so now hit ctrl t on your keyboard and right click on it and just select flip horizontal and right click again and choose flip vertical and place it right there so as for detailing i'm gonna add some shadows behind these sneakers so i'll just click on this sneaker layer and make a new layer and put it below the sneaker image i'll take the brush and right click and increase the size like that and make a brush shape like this one i'll increase the size make sure you have a black color on your foreground color and i'll just click it to add some shadows I like that so i think this is fine i'll reduce the opacity a bit and i think that's great so as for the final touches i'm gonna add some noise so i'll just click on the layer that is on the top and make a new layer and fill it with a black color like this one go to filter and noise and add noise set the value to gaussian and set the amount to 20 percent hit ok once you're done and set the value to subtract reduce the opacity and that's it that was it for the video if you like to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe and see you in the next one